This is Erin here at Sign Strickers. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your 2630 for planting. First we'll go into our menu soft key, go into our green star 3. From here we'll work down the right hand side with resources, equipment, document, mapping, and guidance. We'll go into our resources tab. In this tab we will see the client farm and field as well as our task and our crop season. We need to set up our client farm and field if they are not already set up, as well as verify our task, which would be planting, and our crop season, which would be 2015. Then we can go into our equipment tab. Here you can see it knows we're connected to a tractor, but we need to input our model and name. So we can scroll through and select the model and also the machine name. We can also verify or change our connection type depending on which planter we have behind us, whether that be a three point or a draw bar. We will then go into our change offsets and these will be physical measurements we perform on our tractor that will verify our position with the GPS receiver. Once those are verified, we can select accept. Then we can go into implement one at the top. Here we will be verifying our planter, which it has already pre-filled in for us. We need to go into change offsets. We need to physically measure the offsets and input the feet or inches in the correct letters. Once this is done, we can select Accept, and we will go into Change Widths, and here we will see our track spacing, our rows, our row width, and our physical width of our implement itself. For easier viewing, you can select Foot Rows, and it will change it from feet to rows or vice versa. Once that is verified, we can select Accept. And then we will go into document. And here we will need to input the seed we are planting. So I'll select corn. And then we can add our variety. Simply select add variety. Under brand, hit the drop down. If you had some already selected, you can select those or you can create a new. input your brand name and also the variety. Select accept and select accept again. If you had two varieties you were adding to a field or even two different brands, you simply go back in to add variety. And here you can either select the same brand you had or a new one and then input your new variety. Select accept and select accept again. At the bottom it automatically assigns your variety to rows. If you have these switched or have a different variety in each rows, you can simply select assign variety to rows. And here it says your start row is 1 and row is 12 with your first variety. Say these were just switched, you can simply hit the drop down and select your second variety. Select next. The next is telling you it's starting at row 13 and ending at 24, and you can select the variety and hit accept. Now they have switched places. Once those are correct, you can go into mapping. We'll go into our map settings. Our foreground, we have a variety we can select from, whether that be just coverage only, our rate that we're planting, or the variety that we're planting. I'll select Rate and hit Accept. We can go into our Guidance, go into our Guidance Settings, select Adaptive Curves, go into our Curve Track Settings, select Change, and our Curve Track Recording, we want that to be Documentation. Select Accept. We'll then change our Tracking Mode back to Straight Track. 
and then we'll go into our shift track settings tab at the top and verify that our small shifts are on. Once this is done, you have a general basic setup for your 2630 for planting.